name is Davina DeCampo. I'm looking for, and I'm a drag queen from Manchester. I'm classy, sassy, and a little bit brassy. <laughs> Singing is my main talent. You might think I'm not such a pretty face, but there is more to me than meets the eye. I can sing in five different languages, and I also play musical instruments, so I do know what I'm talking about. The harmonies at the beginning were so good. The thing that I want to see from a performer is their ability to connect and take me somewhere slightly unexpected, and I'm going to be with them and on my feet. My name's Dr Millard. You may have seen me online doing some parodies all about teeth as the singing dentist. You might be gappy. Return off the plaque. And last night you had Vindaloo. And now your breath kind of smell like... What an amazing thing to combine my passion for music and my passion for dentistry and... Boom! You've got, you got like three or four days to give me a check-up, have you? My vet's busy at the moment, so... <laughs> Wow, Rob's teeth. I mean, you can see them before you see him. <laughs> my eyebrows, Bev and Kev. They're my backing dancers and they go everywhere with me. What I'm looking for is the overall performance. If a singer comes out and starts smashing it, these guys are going to go for it. And if they're going for it, then I'm going to have to get up and start singing along. And that's the way it works. I'm from Dinis Powys and I'm a Lady Gaga tribute act. Performing as Lady Gaga is absolutely incredible. One minute I'm in Noragami outfit, the next minute I'm in full on leather, then the next minute I've actually got all sparks coming out of my... I'm personally looking for a performer that connects with me. As soon as you started singing, you just like, you kind of like melted my heart in a really quirky, lovely, cutie, silly, lovely way. I want to see some sass. I want to see something absolutely mind blowing coming out of their performances. Shut up. Right, OK, we're ready. I'm Paulus. I'm a cabaret host. I've performed with Elton John. Matt Lucas, Boy George. There are thousands and thousands of performers out there. Some are fantastic and some are shocking. I'm not going to stand up just because everybody else is standing up. Paulus! Come on, Paulus. People have called me a pantomime villain. <laughs> Call me Mr. Grumpy, but I think we all know I'm just saying what everyone else is thinking. There's too many trills and licks and flicks. Some people think that underneath this hard exterior, there's a big softy. Don't hold your breath. My name is Lily. I perform in a very famous pub in London, and I'm a Cockney sing-along queen. I sing the old classics, like Needs Up Mother Brown, and It's a Long Way to Tipperary. People go mad for them. I just want to give everybody a chance, you know? Yeah, yeah. They had so much courage to come here. I'm not the toughest judge. Technique is not so much for me. If it really doesn't stand up here, you're in trouble. I'm not Mariah Carey, but I know how to get people singing together and having a good time. If they put a smile on my face, if they believe in what they do, I'll get up any time. My name's George and I'm a teacher at the world-famous Brit School. My job here is to work with the kids one-on-one. -on -one. I coach them on their songs, I work on their voices, help them to increase their range. When you feel you've taught something and you see them actually improve, that's, that's the buzz of teaching. Some of the students who've come here have gone on to huge international success, so I obviously have high standards. Being part of the 100, I can't help but look for good vocal technique, tuning. Beyond that, I'll be looking for them to really feel the song and for us to connect with them as they're performing. If they achieve that, then I'll be singing along. My name is Nigel Murphitt. I sing at medieval banquets dressed as Henry VIII. I just 
love putting on this costume, playing the king, and belting out a few songs. And I've got chicken in my beard just before I start. I was trained as a classical singer, so opera is also a great passion of mine. I have cast and directed many musicals, so I have had the opportunity to judge voices and characters for some considerable time. Although I love the voice, it just wasn't enough to compel me to get up. I'm quite picky, and I want to see good vocal quality, good song choice, or give me some kind of shiver down the spine, goosebumps, something of that sort. I don't think you're the demographic, Medieval Nigel. You'd be surprised what I'm the demographic for. Um... <laughs> If I'm not enjoying a performance, I might well be tempted to order their heads to be chopped off. I'm not quite sure how I'll get away with that. I'm Maxine, I'm a pastor, and I also run a community gospel choir. There is a party there. We've performed with Gareth Malone, and we've also won Gospel Choir of the Year. I think I'm well qualified to be one of the hundred. I've got over 40 years experience in singing. I've done backing vocals for people like UB40 and Soul to Soul. Why didn't you stand up for her? She didn't deliver it for me at all, and her voice wasn't strong enough. With the performers, I'll be looking for somebody that can demonstrate a feel, a passion, that they believe in themselves. I want to be behind them, and if they really put everything into it, they've got me 100%.